weekly MVP. I'm going to let you lead it off and uh, get into it. All right. I'm going with Brandon Drury of the Cincinnati Reds, possibly and most likely their one all-star. Yep. Uh, this dude had a week, 11 for 29, four runs, five singles, three doubles, one triple, two home runs, 10 RBIs, added a stolen base, two walks, struck out eight times. I don't care about that. Nine assists, bad 379. But the thing with Drury is that he might be an all-star, should be an all-star for the Reds this year. Yep. Uh, Drury has played 75 games this year. He hasn't played 75 games. He played 120 in 2019. In 2018, he didn't play a lot. I mean, this this dude, is he's starting that journeyman tag, mm -hmm. except this year he's got 18 home runs. The dude is playing baseball. Yeah. He's getting a chance. Uh, didn't have much of a chance with New York. Toronto gave him a chance. He did not succeed there. Uh, here, he, last year with the Mets, 51 games, four home runs, bad 274, you know, whatever. This year, he's he's playing. So, he, well-deserved uh, MVP of the week from me. You're welcome, Drury. Uh, but uh, hopefully he gets in the All-Star game because he's, you know, he's he's earned it. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of players for the Reds that might uh, might get in over him. But either way, yeah. he's uh, he's he's done pretty well, even if he doesn't, uh, you know, and maybe he sneaks in as a reserve or something like yeah. that. But uh, I mean, it's it's a nice story. His previous high in home runs was 16 back in 2016 with the Diamondbacks, and that was 134 games. Mm -hmm. He's got 18 already. Yeah, yeah, good for him. Yeah, good little uh, good little week for sure. Uh, definitely a good candidate for weekly MVP. Mine is Josh Rojas, who's a guy in fantasy that can pretty much play any position: uh, second, third, short, left, right. I don't know. He he's he just uh, he's he's a guy that you know was uh, th around 300 to 350 in fantasy baseball, but he was definitely my weekly MVP for uh, for the week. 11 for 24, seven runs, four singles, six doubles, a homer, eight RBIs, two stolen bases, struck out six times, but had three walks. And he had 14 assists, hit 458 on the week. It's a pretty good week. It's a good week. And uh, honorable mention was uh, Aaron Hicks, who the last probably 30 days has been tearing the ball. I mean, he is just playing fantastic. He uh, he had himself a week last week as well. Eight for 20, had three walks, three homers, six RBIs, and hit 400. So seven runs for the uh, for the Yankees. He he got himself a week as well. Yep. So uh, that that was that's that's our weekly MVPs both both uh, you know rightfully so hopefully we don't have you you know go from the weekly MVP to the worst players of the week and uh, I do have to give the worst players of the week because we haven't seen a repeat and uh, a lot of the players that we saw in our the kind of the way that we look for stats and everything like that we didn't see a lot of I guess high profile players that had terrible terrible weeks so we kind of had to do a little bit of some stretching but we found some names that you'll recognize and some names that for their sake hopefully we never have to say again so Logan mm -hmm. if you're ready. Let's do the worst players of the week. All right. I know Machado struggled. Trout struggled. I'm going with all-star starter Giancarlo Stan. Ooh. Mm -hmm. One for 20. Ooh. One home run. So he had one RBI. Three walks. Eight Ks, which isn't awful. Not good. But uh, I think 11 Ks on the week led for the week. Uh, and he threw in an error there. Okay. He, he had an error. And so since he did beat out... Uh, George Springer and Lourdes Gurriel Jr. of the Jays for the final starting outfield spot. I'm picking John Carlos Stanton with a one for 20. Uh, I wouldn't say it to his face. No, I'm not going to tell him he was the worst. We had a, had a horrible week to his face this week, but uh, he didn't have a good week. Logan is uh, officially scared of many MLB players. <laughs> Apparently, this is a new thing that I'm just learning, and, and we're learning <laughs> together to all the, the, the listeners and the viewers. He's, he's scared of a lot of MLB players. Verlander, high on the list. Uh, Stanton. I can see Stan. I mean, he's yeah. a pretty big dude. Big dude. Either of all way. accounts and purposes, he's fantastic, though. Is he? <laughs> Unless you tell him he, he, he was your pick for the worst of the week. Well, he is. And you you told him. So just letting everybody know, Stan, if you're listening to this, Logan picked you. All right. So just yeah. keep me out of this. But uh, either way, I, I, I see why you did. You know, he, he got in he over struggled. your uh, yeah, and he got over your beloved Jays. So, I mean, yeah. you're just saying, hey, why is he an all-star fans? You know, all our fans and, and, right. and viewers. Why is he an all-star when he's hitting one for 21 homer and he had an error and he doesn't even really play the field that much? Right. Huh. Either way, it was probably an error. He dropped some sunflower seeds and it was his favorite. It was like the last bag of the day. And they were like, that's a mess up. We're putting that down as an error. Yeah. Had to have been it. E3 for Stanton. Yep. That's what this we is his first uh, all-star start since he got with the Yankees. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, good for him. Good for him. Yeah. All right. My worst player of the week. And, you know, hey, I'm not scared of this guy, although they do call him the moose. Mike Moustakas. All right. I'd be scared of a moose in wild, but I'm, I'm going to 
not going to go on the record and say, I'm scared of him like somebody in the studio. But uh, he was three for 24, had a single, two doubles, 15 Ks. Check out 15 Ks. That's like over two strikeouts a day in the last seven days. See that math there? That's, One, that's good math. Good work. Batted 125. Just a, just a tough tough week for uh for a guy that's been in the game for quite a while hanging out in cincinnati he's not going to be an all-star he's uh he he's been around he's had some good times these aren't part of them but uh we'll see mike's hitting in the sevens seven slot for the reds and uh hopefully we uh we don't have you back on the week honorable mention mccutcheon i mean come on man we, we've had you on here a couple of times could have thrown you on here potentially again you got to step it up man i mean i know you're a good clubhouse guy i know you uh you've done a lot for the berg still live in the berg still have a house in pittsburgh but you got to step it up for the for the for the brew crews or they're getting a little angry if anything mustakas and stan should be grateful that we acknowledged their fruitlessness yes because next week they're gonna tear it up 